Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time now to invite on stage an unstoppable young woman. She is a woman achiever of today, a super talent, a multitasker, someone who's always defied taboos and has also been a part of the Touch the Pickle campaign. She is a new age ultra girl in every which way. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the very lovely... <laughs> the other questions aside and say wow <laughs> this is the most amazing and um, the fittest version I have ever seen of you this is yeah. fantastic <laughs> tell me a little bit about this amazing transformation this is the fittest I've seen myself also in my life all my life I've been overweight so for me also it's hugely liberating to be able to feel comfortable uh, with myself um, I've always been a free thinker, I've always been uh, an opinionated person, etc, etc. So I would always feel confident, but I was always underconfident about my body. So I really wanted to do something about it. Uh, many of you, I've already spoken to you guys about this, that it was just of prime importance for me to uh, become fitter, uh, to be able to wear the clothes that I want and just not worry about how I'm looking in pictures all the time. I was sick of that. So yeah, it's taken me almost a year uh, of a lot of hard work. I can see. I can yeah. see the hard work. That is just... I wanted to become like you. Oh, come on. Pehle, you I know? used to like stand away from her that one photo we can't come. Now, now I want to stand away now. from you. <laughs> oh my God, she, she, you look amazing. And thank you, it's, thank it's you. It's fantastic that you've done this for your... Absolutely, family. absolutely. I think, I guess I'm a fit for this product and this event only because I consider myself also an ultra girl. I consider myself to be... Um, you know, a person without any taboos in my head, without any uh, narrow-mindedness or conservatism or whatever words you want to use. So, thank you. Thank you. Yes, you're super fit and a... Uh, <laughs> I like it. I like it. Right. Now, you just spoke about narrow-mindedness and you spoke about, um, you know, taboos. You were a part of uh, the finale of uh, the Touch the Pickle campaign. It won awards. It, it was an amazing campaign. I was a part of it as well. So what are your thoughts on taboos connected with periods? Um, you know, I come from, I, I said this the last time also I was here, I come from a very small town where there are a lot of irrational taboos that exist. Um, you know, we've spoken so much about these things and we've, you know, we've kind of come to the conclusion that there are rational and irrational taboos, right? Uh, there are some taboos which have some kind of history to them and sometimes they make sense in this crazy world, but there are some irrational ones, um, which was things like touch the touch pickle. Touch the pickle. Yeah, touch the pickle was one which my daddy used to give me also. So I would always feel very angry about that. Then there was, you know, there you are can't wash like, your hair. Can't wash your you hair. You can't sleep on a bed. You can't, lie on the floor. You can't go to the temple. Um, there are so many things that you can't come into the kitchen. There were just so many which I would constantly feel that I have not done anything wrong. Don't stop me from doing this. Um, but yeah, so I think the important thing is to kind of eradicate those irrational taboos. We live now at least in an educated country in, you know, an almost developed country, I would say. Uh, we've come so far ahead, but in these things, we're really lagging behind. So I feel that, you know, days like these when you and I come together and, you know, whisper, we all want to talk about how we feel um, in all other departments, but we refuse to talk about this. We refuse to come out of our shells and 
remove these taboos and i think it's high time that we do so and it's amazing that whisper india has come out with you know platforms like this where women can come on stage and freely talk about yeah. issues like this before i mean i don't know if you saw that that film uh, that just yes. played out yeah yeah a girl goes to buy uh, sanitary pads and it's not only just it's not only wrapped in newspaper but it's also put in a black polythene bag and a bomb squad comes thinking you know yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's unnecessary whereas anywhere else in the world you go to buy um, sanitary pads you just you know it gets scanned along yeah, with it's you like know. buying a painkiller it really means nothing and yeah. it shouldn't i mean what what does it mean why is it put into a special department i don't know why yeah well you are an ultra girl you multitask uh, you work really hard to look like this um, you're super talented you're on the go there's lots going on in your life but you know with a lot of women um, who are unstoppable they are unstoppable for 25 days but for 5 days of the month they are very stoppable they you know they they mm, hold back they hesitate um and those 5 days a month amount to 1500 hours a year so that's a lot of holding back so you know uh, this particular campaign th well this launch is about owning those 5 days so how do you think we can own those 5 days um you know i think it all starts in the mind honestly it's it's almost like every year we know it's going to rain in the month of june right but it's not like we stop living our life ki oh my god barish hone wali i can't do anything you know you know it's something that's going to happen so what do you do you cook, equip yourself exactly you wear a raincoat and go out there it's it's really as simple as that so if if i know that i'm going to get my period every month it's something natural how can i slow down yes some girls you know have medical issues they have you know body aches or headaches or etc etc you know they have actual things that can literally slow them down i would say um those things don't stop them as much as their state of mind does you know i think society has put certain kind of pressures or we've just grown up with these things in our mind that we refuse to acknowledge that it's like any other five days so i think it starts in the mind um first of all be comfortable with yourself be comfortable you're you're a girl and this is going to happen end of topic literally for me it's as simple as that um but also i think i think talking to people about it sometimes if there are people who are making you conscious of it if they're saying oh today is that you know that red alert the, that time of the month pun intended um then i mean i don't know yeah that's why we are here today talk about it let it out of your mind and forget about it seriously so how do you equip yourself yeah. to own those five days i just go out there literally i literally walk out and i forget about it i have done shoots i'm i'm sure we all have and and some of the craziest ones where we're showing our stomach or where it's the most hectic emotional scene or it, like there's some crazy days they happen on those days yeah 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 and it's how, and you're like okay there no problem i think you really just need to be comfortable about it we now we live in an age where technology has helped us we have products that can help us i mean we're here to launch a product that's going to help you not slow down in those five days you know uh, become an ultra girl i would say yeah first in your mind and now just buy this and you'll be sorted so the product being launched today makes you comfortable it offers five times more protection it is yes. a revolutionary iconic new sanitary pad so how about we go about the process of actually launching it and as we do that we're going to oh, yeah. we're going to break one of those those taboos you know of wrapping up a, a pad in newspaper so how about oh you and i God. tear this new